These are the Sunday recommendations for my free email list for October the 4th, 2020. This week's blog post is the first in a series, which probably won't be every week, but occasionally. Issues about getting more enjoyment from painting you love from a series of essays into a book. My next major project in the realm of aesthetics is a compilation of essays that I wrote over the past 25 years on how to analyze paintings. It will be similar to the essays that I compiled into getting more enjoyment from sculpture you love. I'll be posting these, as I said, occasionally as I work on the compilation. For this post, the question was, do I have enough material already or will I need to write more essays? Second recommendation. This is a Roman sculpture, the head of Juba II. It's at the Archaeological Museum in Rabat, Morocco dates to the 1st century BC or maybe the 1st century AD. This lovely portrait head came on my radar when I was researching Addison's Cato for last week's recommendations. Juba II, who lived from about 48 BC to 23 AD, was a ruler in North Africa. He was educated by Caesar and Octavian, later Octavianus Augustus. As a ruler of Mauritania and Numidia in northern Africa, Juba encouraged trade, manufacturing, the performing arts, and research into natural history. He was really rather an advanced ruler for his time and place. There's probably too little information for a good historical biography of him, but he really deserves one. Juba married Cleopatra Selene II, who was the daughter of the very famous Cleopatra and of the Roman triumvir Mark Anthony. This is a sketch by Rembrandt of a child in a tantrum. It was done around 1635. Rembrandt is not one of my favorite painters. His style and color and subjects seldom appeal to me, but the man had a great eye for detail. Isn't it amazing that he could sketch this writhing child and its mother and that old lady on the side so well in an era before photography? The fourth recommendation this week is another work by Rembrandt. DianeRantyWriter.com has hundreds of posts on sculpture, painting, and my other obsessions. To join the free Sunday recommendations email list, visit the URL that's on the screen or email me. And you can say well done Diane or support my work and receive rewards by means of the tip jar on DianeRantyWriter.com. Thanks as always for listening.